so that was a brief overview of how songs can be converted into vectors so here we have taken three examples and we have the corresponding vectors for these songs now once we have these vectors for the songs how does spotify actually recommend the songs for you hey everyone welcome back to the channel so today we are diving into how spotify and youtube music um, etc use something called vector database uh, to recommend music that is just made for you right so it sounds complex right don't worry by the end of this video you will not only be able to understand how spotify makes perfect music recommendations for you uh, but also how these concepts are being actually used in uh, shaping the future of personalized technology okay so let's start so now let's start with the bigger picture uh, that is vector database right now when you think of spotify music or uh, youtube music you probably think it's just suggesting songs or artists based on just uh, your browsing history or listening history right but that is not the case that there's way more going behind the scenes so instead of just matching exact song title or the genre um, spotify turns every single song into a vector to really understand them first we need to understand what a vector is okay so think of a vector as a list of numbers that can represent pretty much anything an image text or even sound okay in layman's term uh, vector is a point in a dimension with a magnitude and a direction okay so in a 2d space if we represent a vector uh, 3,4 it would look something like this okay which has a magnitude of 5 and a direction which is often measured as theta okay which is the angle it makes with the x-axis so that is the simple mathematical representation of vector okay so in higher dimension let's say in 8 dimension or 32 dimension uh, which is quite complex for a human mind to visualize right so we can represent text image etc in vectors okay for example the image cat or the or text virat kohli can be converted into a vector which is nothing but a long series of numbers right it can have n dimensions as i mentioned so here we, we just visualized a simple vector in two dimension and uh, we can represent text image sound etc in n dimensional space and can be any number okay so this vector tells the computer what a cat means right it sounds cool right but how do we do that i mean how do we convert a music or image or text into a vector well that's a different topic altogether we'll, we'll discuss about that in our next video so but here's the interesting part in traditional databases like the ones we use for storing exact information they are not built to understand these vectors okay uh, let's say you are searching for an item like white shoes right a traditional database will look for exactly white shoes and return the response but if you type something like uh, brown sneakers or formal shoes it might not it, it might not find anything even though those are pretty similar right i mean formal shoes is similar to white shoes also so uh, ideally it should return the response but it is not able to because it does the exact matching okay so in that case we'll find no result in the output okay so that's where the vector databases come into picture so instead of searching for the exact word or values vector databases help us find things that are similar okay they don't care about the exact matches they care about related or similar items for example in a vector database let's say this is our vector database okay even if we have only white shoes let's say let me just uh, remove this let's say in, the, in our vector database we have only white shoes and a cap okay so let's say we don't have this brown shoe in the in the vector database but if the user comes and searches for formal shoes or brown shoes right it will return the vector of white shoes in the search result why because this vector if we put it here so the angle between these two vectors the vector for the white shoe and the vector for the brown shoe is quite less so so we conclude that this is similar to this so it will return the vector of the white shoes in the search result which is not in the case of the traditional database right so that's how the vector databases help in finding similar uh, matches instead of just uh, focusing on the exact matches which is the case in the traditional database okay now in spotify case uh, vector represents the songs features like its tempo mood genre or even things like vocal versus instrumental right each vector is represented as a series of numbers so these numbers allow spotify to analyze the songs in a much deeper way so converting a song into a vector involves representing the musical and audio attributes of the song in a numerical format okay that can be processed by machine learning models all right so we'll discuss the technical details regarding how to create vectors for different type of data such as uh, text or image or song or music right in our next video 
but for now let's understand it on a higher level so typically using a combination of audio feature extraction and machine learning techniques we convert a song into vector okay so the key is to extract relevant features like tempo uh, pitch timbre etc from the raw audio signal okay so the features of a song can be categorized into two categories basically there are low level features and high level features so low level features are those features which are directly derived from the audio signal okay for example let's discuss the tempo pitch bpm uh, um, energy etc right? they can be directly derived from the audio signal but there are uh, high level features such as genre mood or emotion of the song which can be inferred using machine learning models only which are trained on a data set of songs labeled with emotions or genre right let's say for this song to me oh, i'll uh, label it as a emotional and romantic song and a millionaire it can be a, uh, a rap song right so I, I can have a label data set to determine the mood genre etc for a given song those are the high level features uh, so high level features are more abstract and, and usually they are learned through machine learning models okay so that was a brief overview of how songs can be converted into vectors so here we have taken three examples and we have the corresponding vectors for these songs so instead of using a regular database that just searches for the exact matches or exact song titles or artist spotify uses a vector database uh, this allows it to find uh, similar songs right what you have been listening to currently so uh, that's how you get recommendations for songs uh, that have a similar vibe right so even if you have never heard them before you will still like it because it matches your current mood or current vibe that you are getting from your current song that you are listening to right now once we have these vectors for the songs how does spotify actually recommend the songs for you i mean how does it recommend similar music so that's where the similarity search algorithms come into picture okay so let me change the slide let's say you are vibing to a song um, by arjit singh so spotify looks for other songs whose vectors are close to this one in the vector space okay it doesn't need the song to be exactly the same it just needs that needs to be musically similar now how does it measure the similarity so it does that using methods like cosine similarity and uh, euclidean distance okay so now what is cosine similarity uh, cosine similarity measures the angle between two vectors okay so if the angle is small that means this angle between two vectors if that is small for example here in this case if you see that the angle between the vector of tumio song and and dil mein ho tum by arman malik it is a very smaller angle compared to tumio and the millionaire song which is a larger angle right this angle if you see this angle is uh, quite big so if the angle is small it means that the songs are really similar okay if the angle is wide the songs are quite different okay so as you can see here tumi ho by arjit singh and dil mein ho tum by arman malik has a small angle so spotify might suggest them together so if you are listening to tumi ho spotify might uh, suggest you dil mein ho tum as the next song instead of millionaire okay so mathematically cosine similarity is between two vector a and b for example uh, this is the vector a and this is the vector b and they are, they are separated with the angle theta how do we calculate the value of this theta we use cosine similarity so cosine similarity between two vectors a and b can be computed as a dot b divided by modulo of a and modulo of b so a dot b is nothing but the dot product of those of, of these two vectors right uh, vector a and vector b this is the dot product and modulo is the magnitude or the length of this vector okay uh, so after that taking the cos in taking the inverse of this cos theta we can find the value of the theta so if theta is smaller then two songs are similar definitely so then there is another method to calculate similarity uh, that is the euclidean distance so euclidean distance which is just measuring the straight line distance between uh, two points right so in simple terms closer the points the more similar the song for example if you see the distance between this point and this point is smaller than the distance between this point and this point right so it means that dil mein ho tum is closer to tumi ho than millionaire song right so uh, so this is one more method to calculate the similarity between two vectors or two songs right so this is how spotify finds songs that are near each other in this giant space of music so finding similar songs in style mood genre vibe or even artist collaborations right so to summarize the things Uh, first each song you have been playing gets turned into vectors capturing its details like uh, tempo energy mood etc then spotify searches its massive music catalog to find other songs that have uh, vectors uh, close to the songs that you are listening currently and then recommends them to you uh, thanks to the similarity search algorithms and boom you have got yourself a new favorite artist all powered by vector search okay
so to wrap things up vector databases help spotify represent songs as larger number or list of numbers right um, based on their features and then they use similarity search algorithms to find songs that are musically similar helping you discover your next favorite artist or next favorite song okay so pretty cool right uh, so if you have enjoyed this video so far and got something to learn about the tech behind spotify's recommendations or youtube music's recommendation make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss on uh, this type of tech breakdowns and interesting videos so we are targeting to reach 250 subscribers by this uh, month end so keep supporting so if you got any questions put that in the comment section and i will be sure to answer so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video thank you